Welcome to the Halloween quest, Swept Away. This quest is available to free players during Halloween. This was released on... what the hell's the day? October 28th. Two weeks from now, it will cease to be for free-to-play and it will go strictly only for members. I can start this quest by talking to Maggie, the traveling witch who is currently parked north of Remington. Where she is. Oh my god. Loading slow. Is, you see this cabbage patch? Yeah, she's just north of here, right here. Things you're gonna need for this quest. Jack shit. Um, I'm bringing things to help restore my run and a few teleporting things that you can't see. Because, well, it could be helpful. Oh, fuck off. So let us speak to the poor little overwhelmed Maggie. About swept away. Feel free to talk to her about whatever. Is there any way I could help? Sure, I can do that for you. So now we have a broomstick we need to enchant. First things first, speak to Hetty and Remington, which is just down south. South. More south. A lot more south. Yeah, like right here. I like what they did to Remington. Okay, um, Hetty. So, we need to go get something for her. There's a trap door here just south of her house. Go into it. Now, as soon as I find... Uh, talk to Gus. I guess it's a deal. Toads and newts and toads. Now this is different from everyone, but just extract creature. A toad? Well, I guess that means that must be toads. This shows toads. So let's try this to be... Just try posting them on, see what happens. And you can have as many times to try this as you want. For how to solve this, search the one that's labeled with both. Obviously, that one can only be one or the other. And from there, you can guess which ones the rest of them will be. So 
So that means I want to um, take a newt. And with that done, we can go give the newt to Hetty. Broom ointment. Next is Betty at Port Sarim. Where she is, is just east of here in the magic place right up here. So from here all the way up here. I'll begin recording when I get there because I really don't feel like running. See you there. Actually, you went. Never mind. I can show you exactly where it is. Or I'm going to get people complaining. I forgot. I brought Ron stuff. Woohoo. She's here. What? No, that's Grum. Ah, here we go. Betty. Talk about swept away. Okay, go into her trap door. Let's speak to Lottie. I need to retrieve Betty's wand. Okay, how to do this one. Lots of creatures. Let's take the bird and move it into the temporary cage. I know you don't seem very happy there, hon. Okay. Moves. Now start moving all the animals counterclockwise, which means in the opposite direction that the clock will move. So that means take the rat from here, place it in there. Take the reptile from there, place it in there. Take the rat from there, place it in there. Snail from here, place it in here. Bat from here. Place it in here. Now go to this one again. Reptile from there, place it in there. Spider from there, place it in there. from there. Obviously goes where the cheese is. Come on. The snail from there into there. Oh, 
oh screw this we can always use that bird pen as an extra pen so yeah that's a bat and a snail we're looking for the spiders screw this no there's a spiders right there spider where she belongs Move the bat out of the snail pen. Oh, that's why. Oh, she resets it for you. Yeah, have fun with this one. I guess you can do it in the little squares that you have to right here until you get them all right. Fiddle with it. You'll eventually get it right. Okay, try this again. When you click on your magic slate, you'll notice the bat and the snail are in the right pen, so I fucked up there. Still, move the black birdie. <laughs> and move everyone else counterclockwise, except for those two. So, move the rat to the bird cage. Move the spider to the spider cage. Move the reptile to the reptile cage. Move the rat to the rat cage. And now you can move the raven back to the cage that she belongs at. And with all that done, now you can open the cage. Okay, so I screw. Oops. Search it, and you have Betty's wand. Talk to her about swept away again. And she does something to the broomstick. Next, we go to Draenor. I know it's right next door, but I'm lazy. Remember, I'm on a time schedule here. So, go into this little square here. And speak to Aggie. Ah, talk about swept away. Yes, I'm ready to go now. And we have to sweep. This will be the only place where you don't see everyone else. So, let's sweep this line. Sweep this line. Sweep this line. And sweep this line. Sweet. And talk to Aggie. Say anything and she'll take you back to Drainer. Now head back over to where you first spoke. Where you first spoke to Maggie about doing all this. Which is just north of Remington.
You have good news for her. Of course I could. So take the broomstick and use it on the cauldron. Be back to Maggie. I stir the cauldron for you. <laughs> Congratulations, you've completed swept away. You are worded one quest point, a broom, access to ten portions of experience given goulash. The way this works is it goes, it pretty much well multiplies whatever skill you use it for by 10. So summoning is 55, so it would give me 550 experience. Do this away for all 10. So talk to her about enchanting the broom and she will tell you every one that you can go around to enchant it. First one is going to be Sorcerer's Appren Sorceress's Apprentice in Alcrit. I'll begin recording when I find her. So where the apprentice is in this is in the southeast corner right here of Alcrit. So speak to her. Could you enchant this broom for me? Okay, so as it says, you need to have completed the Prince Ali rescue and have speak to Osman. If you don't know where Osman is, he's in front of the Alcarid Palace, right about here. Talk to him about the Sorcerer's Garden. You have to talk to the Apprentice about the Sorceress's Garden as well. Obviously, don't offer to blast everything. Talk about the upside to the task. Oh, you can talk to me. I can see you've been having a bad day. A sympathetic ear can do wonders. You mentioned something about a garden. Let's see if that's all that we had. Off. Oh, Apparently you need her to teleport you there. Oh, jeez. Tell her to cast a spell on you. It'll be good magic training. Here's a sorceress's garden. Let's see if that's enough. Please say that's enough. Let's see, now can you enchant this broom for me? There we go. 
Now the broomstick is enchanted, although I don't know how to use it. So now when you wield it, you can operate it and it'll offer to teleport you to the sorceress's garden. Okay, that's stop one. Now for stop two for the mage experience. Now we're going to Alley the Hague and Paul Nevich. Go there any which way you deem you want to. I'll begin recording when I get to Paul Nevich to show you about where she'll be. Oh, Alley. Uh, I don't know. I think Alley is a guy. Oh, whatever. See you in Paul Nevich. Alley the Hague is just right here. This requires 33 mage, so let's talk to the hag. Can you enchant this broom for me? And from her, I have received 1,997 mage experience. Sweet. Next to go to the old crone near the Slayer Tower. If you don't know where she is, Canifus is right here. Slayer Towers, her, her, her house is right here. See? Right here. I'll begin recording when I get to her house. Get there however which way you want to. This is going to require 53 mage. By the way, for these things, you can use magic boosters. So, yeah. I'll be able to hit them all up except for the last one, because unfortunately I'm only 85 mage, so that kind of is a little too far away from 93 for me. So, see you at the old crone. Once to the old crone, speak to her about enchanting the broom. From her, you get 7,139 mage experience. Now it's to Baba Yaga on Lunar Isle. This will have required at least the starting of Lunar Diplomacy Quest. Baba Yaga, I think, is around here. So I'll begin recording. If you forgot how to get to Lunar Isle, make... Oh, wrong one. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Ah, there we go. Make sure that you have that stupid little th thing that goes in the neck. I forgot what the hell it's called. But you get it from the Chieftain. It allows you to travel on the boat here on this dock. Then wherever the hell the pi uh, Pirate's Cove is, travel there to Lunar Isle and then just hop over here. I'll begin recording when I get to Lunar Isle. This will require 73 mage. And this little pen, look for the house that's walking around and climb up in it. Speak to Baba Yaga about the broom. She will give you 10,338 magic experience. The last one to do requires 93 mage and must have at least started underground pass or I think complete, I'm not quite too sure. You have to speak to Cardia. She will give you 14,979 mage XP. I don't know where she is, so I can't show you. But doesn't mean we're not done in Remington yet. You can get a purple cat. I don't know how, but if I can't figure it out, I'll, I won't. This is like where the video will end. If I can figure it out, this may very well make it to the video. So bye if I can't figure out and um, see you soon if I can. For the purple cat back in Rimi, where you spoke to Aggie or Maggie or whatever, talk to Wendy here. Talk about something else. Have you seen a purple cat wandering around? If I brought a cat, could you make it purple? Ask where you can get the unguent. Unguent. So you will need a cat for this. I don't know if my hell cat will do. We'll see. So remember, Lottie is in Rimi. In the basement.
so let's go speak to her. In the, well, yeah, in the trapdoor. No, wait, no, no, she was in rip, oh, f ports are, no, ports are in, bitch. Wrong one. Whoopsie. So let's talk to her. Downstairs. Oh my god, I have to sort out the animals again. What the hell? So go grab the lizard, put him in the blackbird pen. Put the rat into the rat pen. Put the snail into the lizard's pen. The spider into the spider pen. Put the bat into the snail pen. Lizard into the bat pen. into the blackbird pen. Snail into the spider pen. That's, yeah. Rat into the lizard pen. Spider into the rat pen. Lizard into the blackbird pen. The bat back into the bat pen. Then we could put the snail back into its pen. Move the lizard into the spider pen. Move the spider to the blackbird pen. Move the rat to the rat pen. Did I say pen or wren? Ooh. Lizard to the lizard pen. Spider to the spider pen. And move the raven back. And that is how you do the second part of the animals. Big thanks goes to Malpel3 for um, helping us poor little noobs out with this. So open the chest again. Just 
search it. I said search it. And you get the magic ungent. Make sure you have your cat with you. And go back to speak with Wendy. I'll begin recording when I get back to Wendy. So back to Wendy with the cat and the pungent potion. into a normal purple kitten. Yeah, sure, change away. And there you go. You now have a purple kitten. See? Purple. Pretty kitty. So enjoy your purple kitty. Let it grow nice and strong. And 